Welcome to the Mods YouTube channel. I'm Michael, your Public Programs Manager here at the Museum of Discovery and Science. Today we're going to learn about acids and bases. Hey, welcome back to the Museum of Discovery and Science. My name is Michael. I'm joined by Draven today, one of our educators. Today we're talking acids and bases. So Draven, I can see a bunch of beakers here filled with some household products. Now, me as a kid, I, I would drink anything. I was always drinking water and soda and whatever. Probably shouldn't be drinking soda, but you know. And I would just randomly grab things off the counter. Now, growing up in our world, I'm realizing that you shouldn't just randomly grab things off the counter, right? No. You okay. Shouldn't. So, and of course, everything looks delicious here, but what's, what's one good way, I guess a good lab rule, that if I don't know what the chemical is, ways I can identify that chemical? Okay, so you can use things like an indicator to test whether things are acids and bases or different uh, chemicals. Right. So we have this thing called phenol red, which will be, which we will be using today. So I also somebody explained to me once about like this waft method as well to like get a smell off of it. So if I wanted to like get a smell off of this, I. Yeah, definitely. You waft to get the smell, or. So I don't. I don't have a smell here. I don't. There's definitely no smell to it. So this is not going to indicate smell but it is gonna indicate something else. So I think we should just go ahead and see what you got here and then we can explain what's happening. Um, if you wanna start, you, we'd start on that end maybe? Yeah, sure. Okay. So we're just pouring, we're just pouring some our amount. indicator okay. into our liquid here. And this is a random liquid. Yeah, totally random. <laughs> so as we can see, we're pouring a red liquid into these and, and we're getting some odd results. We're getting different colors, different shades of colors that are starting to occur here. So starting way on the left, we poured red into a white liquid and we got this yellow liquid. We've got about the same here, I'd say a little bit shade. This didn't change, this one was orange. So as you can see, they're doing very different things. So I'm going to assume, Draven, because this is a indicator, it is indicating something. Yeah. What is this indicating to our to our viewers? So this test is indicating where the things are acids or bases. So acid, kind of like I pour acid in my pool or like are there acids that I can like put in my body? So yeah, there are some acids that you can consume and some acids that you want to stay away from. Okay. So what's a good example of one that I might consume? So vinegar. Oh, okay. And I have that on salad or something like that, yeah. right? Awesome. So I, I don't know what vinegar is. Is that an acid, right? We did say it was an acid and that's why it turned yellow. Yeah. yeah. So if I pour this indicator into an acid, it's going to give me a yellow, yellow. something in that realm yeah, color. Yeah, definitely. So if it's an acid, it's gonna turn this yellow orange color. And if it's a base, it will remain red. So all of these that I see that are still red are bases, yes, correct? correct. So I've noticed these all mixed, these mixed, but this guy didn't mix. I wonder why. This might have to do with density, but we can talk about density on another time. Yeah. So what are so what are one of the stronger acids, I guess, that I could put inside my body? Coke soda. So Coca-Cola is a strong acid, but I've also heard that you know people clean their engines with it. That's why it is such a strong acid. You shouldn't drink too much Coke, but in moderation, solid. All right, we hope you guys enjoyed. We had a great time. Thank you, Draven, so much. We'll see everybody next time. Bye. If you enjoyed what you saw, give us a like and make sure you subscribe below. See you next time.